Hey guys, what's going on? Flawless Crested Geckos here, Will and Audra. Hi. And this is going to be a big, big video. So we are going to talk about um, vending, kind of, sort of, whether you want to get started, whether you've been doing it for a while. Um, and when you go to ben, vend, what we call a big show. Mm -hmm. uh, more specifically, we did a search and did some research for this video for you guys. And we haven't seen anyone lay out the process of being out of state and heading down to Florida. To Florida. NRBE mm -hmm. show, huge, huge show every year mm -hmm. down in Daytona. Yes. Um, and explaining the process of being out of state and, and what you have to go through. We actually uh, really locked in and focused on doing the show. This is going to be our first time doing the show. Um, so we needed to make sure we had all of our ducks in a row. Um, as we want to go down there fully prepared uh, to then and not travel all the way down there and not be able to display any animals. Exactly. So, Because there have been horror stories. Of yes, that. <laughs> which kind of scares you yeah. if you're driving from a pretty good distance. Pretty good distance, yes. So basically, first off, um, there are some you know states that don't require a lot and then you can pretty much get it within the week before, but Florida is not one of them. Okay, right. so first off, if you are planning on vending Daytona show or any show in Florida from out of state, you need to start dealing with the FWC um, approximately, well, at the very minimum 90 days before your scheduled show. Okay, and the reason for that is because you have to have a captive wildlife permit, a class three, and also that's wrapped up into that you have to have your import permit as well um, but the thing is is that you have to apply for this permit you have to set up an account in um, their on their website you can reach it from myfwc.com or you can go through um, go outdoors which is where it will actually lead you to create an account um, to where you'll right. need to purchase, you know, or you'll need to apply for your permit and then and then be able to purchase it and run on through. Um, so the captive three or captive wildlife class three is what you actually need. Um, and you'll go through the process of creating your account. You need to create your account as an individual. You guys know that we're Flawless Crested Geckos LLC, so you know that we're a business. However, when you're going into Florida to sell, you're not there as a business in Florida. So whatever, whatever process that it goes through, because it goes through a process of asking you questions when you're filling out your application, there will come, you'll come across a question that says, Are you, do you need to file as a business? Do not, as an out-of-state uh, vendor, do not file as a business. You will need to file as an individual. So when you're logging in, you're creating your account, you need to create your account as an individual, and you need to submit an application for the, for the Class 3 Captive Wildlife as an individual, not as a business. Okay, that's of paramount importance when you're That's very important when you're doing this that's extremely important because it could completely mess you up and it could cause you to not even get your paperwork in time for a show even if you start 90 plus days in advance almost happened to us yes it did so <clears throat> whenever um whenever we went on to apply for it it went through those questions and of course being a business i just automatically assumed we need to file as a business so when we filed as a business, I put everything in, I pushed it through, and it said, congratulations, you've submitted your application. It will take 30 days for, um, for it to be in review, and then it could take up to 90 days for you to actually be approved so that you can purchase your class three. The class three is $50. Once you purchase that is the price of, of the actual um, license. So just right out the gate know that it's going to be fifty dollars out of your pocket um which is you know i mean it's a little it's a little more than some of the other states but i mean to go and bend one of the biggest shows across the country i mean i think it's it, it definitely is worth it so that being said um you submit your application 
And then what it will go through is a little, um, there's a little section inside of your account when you go to look up the status of your actual application that it'll say manage my um, applications. So you'll click on that and that will give you an updated like what it's where, what status is actually in, whether it's in review, whether it's pending review, whatever it may be, whatever status is at, that's what it's going to tell you. So I pushed ours on through. When we went back in to look, <laughs> it still said pending. It still said pending. Now she pushed it on through pending. as a business. Yes, as a um, business. So this is why we're explaining it to you guys. So hopefully you guys don't have to make this type of mistake. Exactly. So about two weeks ago, I, I, I said to him, I was like, you know, every time I log in, I'm not seeing anything. Mm -hmm. It's just pending. It's pending, pending, pending. And I'm getting a little nervous, so I'm going to call. <laughs> He's like, okay, you call. Mm -hmm. And um, so I called and I talked to a sergeant down there. Super awesome, nice guy. Like, I'm forever indebted to him. Um, but he, he looked us up and basically what he told me is that the reason why it had already been put through the review process the, the actual um license our application so it was already through the review process but it was waiting on us to set up as a business to to have a business license in florida because i pushed it through as a business because obviously we're a business right. so um that being said he's like what you need to do what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go back in and you're gonna have to resubmit <laughs> as an individual and i was like oh crap this is gonna, gonna be another 90 over. days right. like i we don't have time for that you know I was, I was like freaking out but he's like no 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 he's like all right so now that you're talking to me and i see it it's been it's it's obviously been approved we just are waiting on that so what i'm it's gonna do logistical yeah it's a logistical thing so he's like go right now go fill out your actual you know for the individual push it through and as soon as I see it come in, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send this over to the correct department so that they can see that you've already been in the system that is already approved. We just need to flip flop it because you're not coming in as an actual business. Like, right. you know, you're coming in for an exhibition show, basically. You're coming in for a, a, an actual trade show. Right. Rather than being in the state of Florida as a business, as conducting a firm. Conducting business. Yeah, conducting period, business, exactly. Florida. So he also told me, he's like, in addition though, you need to go and make sure that you get your import permit filed. And whenever you go through this process, when you fill out as a business, it asks you if you want to go ahead and include an import permit within that, that application. Mm -hmm. As an individual, it doesn't do that. You have to do that separately. So then I had to get on the stick and get that portion of it filled out and that is sort of like a thing where you go on again you you got you got a link to the specific import permit on go outdoors florida you go to that you download the form you finish the form you fill out the form which is all it is is it's basically saying okay i'm bringing animals in this is how many animals i'm bringing in this is where they're going and this is who they're going to be staying with okay so and basically as a, a vendor, if you're going to a reptile show, you are the transporter, you are the breeder seller, and you are because you have no clue who's gonna be buying that or if they're gonna be coming home with you, maybe you don't sell out or you, you, know, you sell five and you brought 50 or you sell 20 and you brought 50. You don't know how many's coming back with you, so you just go ahead and put your name as the receiver as well because you know, if you go down there, God forbid you sell zero, you're still coming back with those. So they're still with you. So that, that cause at the end of the day, the buyer that is buying a gecko from you or a snake or whatever you're selling down there, they will then have to report it to the FWC as an individual as well, because they, I, their state laws are completely different than South Carolina state laws as it pertains to actually holding animals like that in your in your um, possession in your collection in your collection yeah it. so that being said that import permit had to be filed and it had to be then sent directly to 
the the actual class three where the class three was to that office by via an email that i was sent so i sent that on really quick and that was supposed to take like two weeks to finish and so after i got off the phone with that particular sergeant from the fwc i was like okay fingers crossed like i waited i told him i was like we're gonna wait a week and then i'm gonna call back if i hadn't heard anything mm -hmm. so Every day, of course, I, I was logging in, checking, seeing if the actual thing had been approved or whatever. And lo and behold, last week, I logged in, and it was like the day I was going to call if I hadn't seen anything, and it had been approved. And once you log in and it's been approved, you, you go to my, manage my applications. You go down to the bottom, like I said originally, to see where it would be pending or reviewed, and it'll say approved. And then it will allow you to add it to your cart and actually pay your $50, you'll purchase that and then you'll download it and print it off and that's your license. Um, and then it wasn't too long after that that um, the import permit was actually approved too. So you'll need your import permit and the actual class three wildlife. Um, so those captive are the wildlife. That you're need. Those are the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need them in your hand as when you go down before you, um, cross, before the you cross the state lines yeah exactly hey guys now, flawless crested geckos here will and audra and we're here to tell you guys about our new patreon tier have you guys ever played the lottery lose and get all your money back that's not really a thing is it oh but yes it is with our new tier the hundred dollars a month you get every single bit of your money back That's for right. the entire year. But guess what? It doesn't end at the end of the year. Right. No, you have rollover. rollover. So you can continue to build your savings account as much as you would like. Right. But guess what? That's not all. That's right. You what also is the biggest perk? are automatically entered for our annual free Xantic giveaway. <gasps> visual Xantic. A That's free right, visual Xantic. Oh my gosh. Who yes. does that? We, we do. do. That's right. <laughs> so you guys are going to want to go over to patreon.com slash flawless crested geckos and, and check join us out. the flawless family. Exactly. Right. Now that's the most complicated portion of everything. And so those, the expenses on those ended up totaling to what? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Yeah. Then <laughs> now we, now that we got all of that out of the way, that's, I'm sure rewind, make this a favorite video. If you're planning on doing uh, yes. the show, then you get down to the meat and potatoes of the show of actually reaching out and registering for to then the NRBE show in Daytona. <laughs> um, <laughs> she giggles because that's also <laughs> an, an event. Um, so you cannot register for the show online. No. Okay. There's no online registry. In fact, there is an older gentleman that owns and runs the show, and he will tell you <laughs> yes. he, he owns the show, which is Wayne. Um, and he's doing his best. Um, uh, is the show itself is really really micromanaged you know um, to a certain extent um, so you he has to be the person to put you down for your tables himself yes. um, he also doesn't <laughs> communicate via email very well at all um, so everything is going to be via telephone um, and during i guess you would say business hours apparently as long as it's like before 4 p.m yeah um and when you go and finally get put down for tables um it's a 700 table show not a 700 vendor show but it's a 700 table, table show. show there is a lot of vendors all yeah. right so two there room show is years. huge yes um but he puts you down for your tables and those are your tables as long as he receives payment which is an also a slight it's issue it's kind of an event as um, well <laughs> because it's an event so you can't since it's not an online registry for, to become a vendor for the show you can't pay online either mm -hmm. you also cannot pay via credit card debit card um you can't pay using those forms either mm -hmm. you also can't pay using paypal can't pay using that either. Nope. Only thing you're able to pay is it's actually a check. check by mail. Yeah. Um, cashier's check. Cashier's check. Money order. Uh, yep, yeah, money order. Check. 
check, personal check. Personal check. Via mail. And you have to mail it to him. And, the snail mail. Yeah, wait for him to receive it. And then he, he will call you back mm -hmm. and notify you. Say, hey, I received your check. So now um, we're going to put table placement. Right. Now we're going to put table placement. Now you mm -hmm. have your table. So that's the process that you can expect moving forward, which was complicated for us only because we're, we're a little bit new gen these days. New generation, meaning we've been conducting business for a very long time now without a checkbook for the business because we don't write checks there's no, no reason <laughs> you know we'll wire transfer we'll do this like, we Look, don't have a checkbook i used to have a checkbook when i first yeah, met him right. like She's I, older, so. I no i'm not you are older than me <laughs> let's stay on the topic the topic is you are older than me So, it up, chuckles. so that, anyway, that could prove to be an issue. I ha he used to make fun of me because I, when I first met him, like I paid a lot of my bills via like personal check. I had the, I had the coolest checks too. They were like zebra print. They were different colors and they were really cute. But anyway, that being said, <laughs> do you remember my no, checks? Baby. <laughs> anyway, those were like, I miss those checks. Anyway. Anyway, the point <laughs> of the matter is, is it saved our butt one time because I had the receipt thing, you know, the, like the, the register was like the um, the carbon copy. Okay. Right? And I was like trying to pay um, taxes on one of our vehicles. And it's like had no, no like registry of me paying mm -hmm. the taxes on the vehicle. And so I'm like trying to find it in the banking app or whatever and couldn't find it, couldn't find it. But then I had my checkbook on me and I had it where I had written it. And then they were able to look it up at the tax office and prove that I had paid the taxes. Yeah. So, yeah. We live think. in a state where you have to pay property tax on your property every single year. Yeah. That but happens every single year. Um, <laughs> is there but something it's, else? It's not that expensive. True. Yeah. Um, so with the NRBE, now that you have your tables, you're registered, you done did the entire process on getting your import license yeah. uh, to bring things into their state as well as your uh, class, three. class three. Your captive wildlife. Right. So you have to go through those, that mm -hmm. entire process all together just to secure um, your, your placement, ability to your sell. ability to sell because yeah. you can have tables they will allow you to, to book tables pay for your tables you'll have some very expensive tables and if you don't do your class yes. three and import license you can travel all the way there hotel room whole nine yards and can't show off a single can't animal, sell a single actually, animal. Actually, really, actually they really they really they can confiscate your, your animals. animals your entire collection whatever yeah. you bring down there that um, you plan on selling yes so we want to put this content out um, we have a lot of breeders that follow us, aspiring breeders, yes. keepers that plan on vending, um, people that vend on a regular basis that are deciding to do bigger shows like this show is huge. And we wanted to put out some content to better prepare you guys to go down and have a heck of a weekend uh, down in Daytona. Um, yeah. And just keep in mind too, like we've actually we've put up on our social media all of our platforms that we're going obviously and there have been a few like comments in the negative towards like the show the, show, the showrunner how it's run because it is a little behind the times as right. far as being online and whatnot and all i can say is that you you honestly attract more bees with honey than you do piss and vinegar right so yeah, true. you know if you yourself feel like you can't handle talking to mr wayne it's probably best that you find somebody that's a little bit more forgiven a little bit nicer and a little bit more able to you know communicate effectively with with that type of communication okay so all i can say is bless his heart yeah he, he sometimes doesn't remember some things because thank goodness for audra and the team because she has done all the communication in this process <laughs> i am like a bull so i say he's out a, he's a of bull the way in a china yeah. shop when it comes to okay. stuff like that so audra okay. is able to figure everything out. i'm like baby 
Sometimes brawn is great, but sometimes <laughs> you need to finesse. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm the finesse over here. So it's worth but this just, way. Just perfectly. keep that in mind. One other thing that I will mention as far as paperwork is concerned mm -hmm. is a lot you'll hear a lot of people talk about you need your inventory, you need your inventory, right. you need your inventory list. And that is simply you need that comes in with the process I failed to mention that while we were going through that the inventory list is in the process of actually filling out your captive three okay. so um, or captive class three and that is just basically you need to know the scientific name of whatever species that you're bringing in the common name and how many that you're going to bring what you need to do is if you're not sure how many you're gonna bring in but you you know maybe you for us, like, we know we're not bringing in more than 200, okay? Right. So I put 200 on there so that it covers us. And if we're less, it's okay, but you just don't need to bring in more than what you are you are claiming to have on right. you. Um, so that's really important. So just make sure you get that at least, you know, covered. So inventory list has been explained, captive three. It's captive Cap wildlife class, class three. three has been ex explained. Mm -hmm. And import. import has been explained. Yes. And registering and securing your tables for the Daytona NRBE show. And being nice. And being very nice has been explained. So yes. um, also, we're gonna be bringing 200 Crested Geckos down to the NRBE show. So if you guys no wanna more. be down there, <laughs> right, stop by our booth. Uh, we have a huge end cap. Um, yes. And we're going to put on quite the display down there and have a ton of fun. Yes. Also, if you like content like this, hit that subscribe button, um, notification bell, click the like button if yes. you like this type of content. Also, check out our Patreon. We do a lot of in-depth videos like this one that kind of tell you the harder things to, to deal with on the business side, whether it's paperwork, whether it's mindset. Mm -hmm. Check us out on Patreon.com slash Lawless Crested Geckos. Because uh, if you really want to know, there. we have a we have what we call what flawless university. Yes, we have flawless. We university have flawless university well. within Patreon that gives you a lot more in depth stuff on the business the aspect to business. of it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll see you guys down there, and for the ones that may watch this video now or for the years to come, hopefully this helps you plan out your weekend. Um, at your first attempt maybe vending the NRBE show. Or just being in Florida period with right. animals. And we wish you guys much success. Yes. Flawless Crested Geckos. Will Audra, we out. We out.